Let's okay. talk about some news. Okay, but first, oh, there's a new segment on the podcast. I'm gonna debut right now. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's the DSP update. Oh, DSP <laughs> update. Yeah, I'm not. We're not gonna. I'm not gonna talk long about DSP, but he's. It's just been wild in DSP land recently. Oh, very good. So you know how Mike Klum did the D, the documentary about Boogie. Yep. The sad, depressing. Dark Life of Boogie or whatever it was. Three million views on YouTube, whatever. He was going to do one about DSP. And it was all set up to go. He's been working on it for a while. And he was like, this is going to be different than the Boogie one. It's going to be positive. (laughs) Positive about how, like, I love my life and my wife and my streaming and all this, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, this guy's delusional because when they record a documentary... They record it and they edit it on their narrative, basically. Yeah. So maybe he would be showing how he streams, but th- his natural like distastefulness would come through. <laughs> yep. And that would be in the documentary, and it would not re- reflect positively on him. Yeah. So I was like, ah, this is great. I can't wait for this to come out. This is gonna be perfect. Well, he canceled it. DSP canceled it. Oh. I think he figured it out. <laughs> like, oh, you know what? They're gonna edit it the way they want to edit it, mm-hmm. and it. You know, it's not gonna be good for me or whatever. So yeah, he, had, he canceled it, <laughs> which sucks. But I mean, yeah. Mike Klum could still do a documentary. I think part of the problem too is like I think Mike Klum is like a real person yes. that does real work. Yeah. So I think he was gonna be like, I'm gonna interview your ex girlfriend, talk to her, <laughs> or I'll interview your ex friends from out east. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I want to talk to your fans. Yeah. And I think DSP realized like, oh, my fans are like, um handicapped like <laughs> not even as a joke like literally they're handicapped like people have recorded videos defending dsp and be like i'm you know so and so from i watched i'm so and so on dsp stream and it's like he's taking advantage of like handicapped people <laughs> like he doesn't do it by saying like you should give me your money so and so but he'll be like oh i could really use a a tip today, you know, like putting pouring it on that's yeah, easily yeah. success susceptible people would fall for. So he canceled that. So I think that's part of the deal. Mm-hmm. He also said like, oh, I wouldn't be able to stream. I'd have to film and like, you know, I need that <laughs> money so I can't not stream. <laughs> that's why I stream six days a week and I work so hard and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, the other thing was that his wife came back on his stream mm-hmm. for the first time in five years. She's not been seen in five years. Yep. And it was like watching two people that have never met and have no charisma interact with each other. (laughs) It was like watching two strangers sit in a room. Wow. And he would talk over her and answer for her. She'd start saying stuff. And like, he's so like, um, what would you say? He's so like, um, like not fragile, but like. You know, he's prefaced the stream by like, we're going to have my wife on and we're going to talk about anything. And, you know, it's not going to be like, um, you know, we're not going to be trying to sell you makeup or anything. Like, don't <laughs> ask her about like what her makeup routine is and anything. It's like, God forbid someone ask your wife a question about something she might be interested in. <laughs> yeah, right. So anyways, of course, all the people donated a bunch of money. He made like $300 in tips or whatever. Mm-hmm. So again, the week after it was good, you know, we're going to, he's like, we're going to do this, you know, occasionally have a wife. Oh, the next week she's back on to do it again, <laughs> earn more money. Just very shady stuff. But yeah. Oh, so cringy. Oh my God. <laughs> and you know, the first thing, the first thought was that when he had her on the stream was to get, um, like, reactions of people being rude to her and about her for the documentary yeah because she's gained a bit of weight so she's like a larger girl now Mm -hmm. and that was what the thought was people were going to be you know making fun of her and you know talking about her weight gain and her looks and everything like that for them to put like you know in a documentary where they'll zoom in on the comments on something and be like you know showing all the rude comments and everything like that which people really didn't do (laughs) there was some but it was mostly people just being like oh it looks so sad like they look she looks so sad sitting there (laughs) and there was a thing where someone said ask about having a kid and dsp's like we're not having a kid and she just looks so crestfallen (laughs) like oh my god it was just so bad she didn't know what she married into 
No, she knew. That's you know. That's also why I don't feel bad for her. Like she watched DSP's videos beforehand yeah. and everything. She knew what she was getting yeah. into. So ugh. it's her own fault then. Yeah, but they live like hermits and they don't interact with humans. And every they think everything is out to get them. They're so he's so paranoid and oh, good old DSP. Good old. DSP. I just rue the day that YouTube was like, "Hey, watch this video about DSP. <laughs> you should check this out. You might like it." And I don't like it. But I can't stop. It's like a train wreck. You got to keep watching. Oh, my God. He's just so like, <laughs> it's just astonishing. Like, how can people watch this guy? Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know. Well, it's because I, I don't. I mean, like I said, there's something wrong with them. <laughs> the people watching them. They're vulnerable. They shouldn't be alone. <laughs> they should have people monitoring them, but they don't. So it's sad. It is sad. It's sad. Anyways, that's the DSP talk for this. week. It's <laughs> not going to be a reoccurring segment. It just was there's so much. DSP stuff ha- stuff happening this last <laughs> while that I had to uh, ha- ha- I had to talk about it, you know. Yeah, it, it is kind of disappointing that Mike Clum is not going to do a documentary on him because I really liked his boogie one. I, yeah, I, I watched the entire thing. He can still it do crazy. it. I yeah, mean, he just doesn't have it. Doesn't have to be like official documentary. You know, yeah. it can be like a like unofficial thing. Yeah, but then DSP will just say it's all fake, and yeah. you know they're he's out to make money on me, and blah 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 blah. Yeah. So, whatever. Yes, there you go. 